Run. A lot of you may be wondering about all of this conversation that is happening about VPNs and certain directions which have been issued recently. And there's a lot of chatter on social media right now. A lot of us at the Internet Freedom Foundation where I work are also concerned by these directions which have been issued by the Computer Emergency Response Team in India. And these directions actually had a lot to impact. But first, please do refer to the captions below in which we post a link from the Freedom of the Press Foundation about how VPNs may not be a complete safeguard for your privacy as well as security but in certain workflows may actually help you protect your online activity at the same time. Now let's just dive right into what are these directions and what they apply with respect to VPNs. There are two basic planks which we need to look at and the first is with respect to logs and the second is with respect to registration of users. In terms of logs, the regulations require VPN providers to, to preserve activity logs for a period of 180 days for all their users. In fact, it applies to all ICT systems which would include VPN providers and then store it within India. It can essentially mean that everything that you do when you're connected to a VPN will be stored by that VPN provider. These service providers quite often say, and they are commercial service providers, who say that the privacy that you get is because, and these claims may be up for challenge, but they do say they don't maintain these logs. So your online activity is kind of private. Where, what websites you visit, what things you download are not to their knowledge and hence they can't disclose it to somebody else. But now they will be required to store these logs or maintain or build systems for creating these logs for 180 days. The second problem is with the requirement of registration for all users. This will include validating the names of subscribers and customers, their addresses and contact numbers of users. By itself, there are other fields as well on seven data points in total. This means that VPN providers today, if I sign up, will need to do an eKYC through a government ID more practically. As much as it's not defined, this is the natural presumption. It increases costs. It also builds a greater degree of surveillance because now the VPN provider not only knows which websites I'm visiting, but also can tie in my government identity who am I and which kind of other identifiers are linked to that government identity. For instance, Aadhaar. If they link it with my VPN provider, then that Aadhaar number also links to other databases. This is a privacy minefield by itself. And this becomes much more concerning because India does not have a data protection law. There is no independent oversight. Parliament has not made any kind of specific requirements that there will be a regulatory body to oversee that whenever certain asks for all of this data which is now being stored by VPN providers, it only does for cyber security as much as it's saying. So it's also a trust issue I would say because there's no check itself on certain for our data protection, for our privacy. These are just some of the points, but the certain directions which will go into effect in let's say about 50 odd days are very concerning. And we have also made an explainer on internetfreedom.in and again a link for that is available in the caption below. So please do check that out because this is a wider, much more drastic and radical measure which is being undertaken that will actually help and build a greater surveillance network around us without any checks and balances. 
Since also we are getting a lot of questions from our community and clearly this is both a legal and a technical issue more conversation needs to be done around it and we do it quite often through what we call as IFF members calls where a certain degree of explanation is provided through a presentation which is then followed up with a much more private conversation but we can also model this members call even if you are not a regular donor and you are a IFF member by just the questions which you will post a lot of people in our community have already sent us these questions on reddit on twitter also on instagram so please do engage with us put it in the comments below and we'll try to roll it over in the members call and do watch out if you are a iff member in terms of the details of the time to join that members call which will happen next week thank you so much for watching and do keep engaging on this really important issue on for our online privacy this goes much beyond vpns